Almost a silent 72 yards, if there's such a thing. Got the tight end wide open. And he throws for Glenn, and he's picked off. Charles Woodson, a guy who was victimized four times by Glenn in the first half, comes up with a huge play for the Wolverines. It's a huge play. But, Mark, this is a case where Bobby Hoying just kind of got locked on his main receiver, Terry Glenn. Now watch this. The tight end is going to run down the middle. There's a big open area, but he's going to try to hit Terry Glenn. Watch Ricky Dudley, the tight end, get down the middle of the field. Now he's open right there. But Bobby Hoying goes away from the tight end, and then he underthrows Terry Glenn. And it's a great play by Charles Woodson. Normally when you play cover two, the corner kind of pulls off. But Charles Woodson ran with him underneath and made the interception. Good play for Woodson. This is the best starting field position all day for the Wolverines. Bianca Batuka down to the 44-yard line. yards rushing for the day. Second down and five. A gaping hole. Bianca Batuka to the 21. Tackled by Gwynn, but he picks up 23 more. Watch the blocking on the back side now as this play starts. Watch the left side of the line down at the bottom. Watch these guys block on the back side. Whenever you want to have a cutback run, the back side has to block well. Bianca Patuka started to the right of the line of scrimmage. The back side all held their blocks. They held him for an extra count, and then the cutback. You see that lane? Boy, no white jerseys in there. And John Cooper talked about that with three extra yards. They work extra hard. Here he comes again. It's tea time. Bianca Batuka falls down at the 13-yard line. It's third down. Todd, it's Floyd and Howard in the backfield. A waggle. Open. Down at the one-yard line. One yard shy. Campbell. It is third down and one. Greasy over the top, touchdown Michigan. He got in. The Wolverines lead it 17 to nine. And right now down in Coral Gables, Florida, there's a proud papa by the name of Bob Greasy watching. Michigan leads. 255 yards running today for Bianca Batuka. For the last three weeks, Ohio State's run defense had really come on under 100 yards in all three games. But today, thanks to Tim Bianca Batuka, 291 yards, and he is well on his way to rushing for 300 yards in this football game. Statistically, you would think Michigan would be dominating on the scoreboard, and it picked off. Brable. Mike Brable with great handwork making the pick for the Buckeyes. That's a defensive end, folks. 1.45 to play in the quarter. They come on the blitz. Hoying picks it up. Dudley. Down at the one foot line. That far from Paydirt. Ricky Dudley. Sualua and George out of the eye. The ISO. George. Touchdown, Ohio State. He got in. Back here, second down and eight. Bianca Batuka. He doesn't want to go down. You can't stop him. 38 yards. You see Mark Bra Mike Brable is right here. He's going to have a clean shot as he comes across the line of scrimmage. He's going to have a good shot at Bianca Batuka, but not make the tackle. Nobody blocks him, and he just doesn't wrap up the arms. Bianca Batuka breaks that tackle, then uses his speed to get the big run. And again, Ohio State has just been victimized by giving up big holes, and then when they do have a guy in the hole, not making the tackle. Nearing the end of the third quarter, Williams subbing in for Bianca Batuka. Down to the 19-yard line, Michigan with a two-point lead at the end of three periods of play. We'll return with more between Ohio State and Michigan after this message. The echoes of past and present players. 
tangible in the air here in Ann Arbor as we begin the fourth quarter of play. Michigan leads by two. Bianca Batuga on second and five has another Michigan first down. Eight-man front for Ohio State. Two tights, the toss to Williams. Touchdown, Michigan. Clarence Williams, the freshman. This play is made by quickness. Eight men in the box for Ohio State anticipating an inside run, but the speed of Clarence Williams. Michigan leading 24 to 15, courtesy of this run by the freshman who grew up less than an hour from here. Clarence Williams we will be right back. If I wanted anybody to lead me right now, it'd probably be Bobby Hoying. Under 13 minutes to play. Hoying. Incomplete to Terry Glenn. There's a lot of time left. A big part of that phasing him out has been accountable to Woodson. Incomplete intended for Eddie George to the near oh. sideline. It'll be third down and ten now for Ohio State. Sualua, the lone back. Hoying tries to do the old shuffle pass to Sualua, and it falls short. The Z-man. Trent Zinkowitz pressuring Hoyer. Now for Michigan. A three wide receiver set on second down. Williams, a gaping hole. Clarence Williams playing in front of a lot of his neighbors here today with just the right flavor. 15 yards and a Michigan first down. Yeah, Williams comes out. In comes Chris Howard, number eight. Streets in motion. Third and eight. Greasy. Completion. Reavers mark. Out of bounds at the three, make that the one yard line. Replacement running the football for him. Bianca Batuka with fresh legs and a big heart and 8.03 to play. Watch play action here though. Bring Bianca Batuka in and still throw the football. Second and goal. They give it to him, touchdown. Wow. In Ann Arbor, this is how they do it. Bianca Batuka, 306 yards rushing. And styling and profiling just a little bit. Watch the burst by Tim Bianca Batuka. He got a little rest on the sideline. Watch how quickly he hits this hole. Right into the end zone. And, and his game is speaking loud and clear. As they would say on St. Catherine Street in Montreal, c'est bon. We'll be right back. Still plenty of time, although they've got to be very efficient at this point. On the slant, touchdown Tillman. Don't go anywhere, 19 yards on the strike, and yes, Todd, you're right, he is confident. The look is still in his eyes. And it's 31-21, they're going for two. To Eddie George. And they convert on it. It's 31 to 23. They are just a two-point converted touchdown away from tying this game. It still won't send them to the Rose Bowl. Northwestern would have the better overall conference record in that case. Todd Terry Glenn does not have any catches in this half. Sualua holds in this one. Sualua, is he out of bounds? No. The clock keeps running. 146 to play. He would have won the Heisman Trophy. Fourth and three for the Buckeyes. Last chance. They're still alive. Buster Tillman making the reception in Michigan's half of the field at the 49. Yourself and just sit there and have to watch it happen. Hoying finds Dudley complete at the 34. Another first down. They stop the clock with 119 to play. Fourth down, 10 to go at the 34. Terry Glenn, can he get it? Oh. Picked off. Woodson. Give Woodson some love. Give it to him now. Lloyd Carr recently named head coach, not interim head coach, but head coach. 
and it was well received around Ann Arbor. The players celebrated. They gave each other high fives. They said he was the man to lead them the rest of the way. And he's done just that today. The Wolverines spoil Ohio State's perfect season. Michigan winning 31 to 23. We should keep Michigan down here where they belong, just like the rest of them teams, and go up there and just keep their butt like we did everybody else. We should keep Michigan down here where they belong, just like the rest of them teams, and go up there and just keep their butt like we did everybody else.